This is a different way of having a pumpkin on your front step and one that you can decorate with and you have it for years to come. These are I brand new these. today. I've got two versions. I've got a short one and a tall one. So you can either go, and that's the way pumpkin choices are. Typically. Either skinny and tall mm -hmm. or kind of like me. <laughs> that's not true. Shorten, shorten a little more round. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> these are cute. I, think, I love these. And, and I, I, I love that they didn't overproduce them in terms of you can see the individual brush strokes on these. These are all hand painted. Yeah. And the muted colors allow you to see how much craftsmanship went into it. I was really impressed with these at a price tag of less than 30 bucks. They, these are amazing. So this is a great way to be able to have something that's reusable, something like you said, you're not putting a pumpkin out that's eventually going to be rotting right. and drawing gnats and everything. You've got something that is beautifully crafted. Again, one of those metal pieces by Plow and Hearth. They have this uh, technique down so well. They've got this hammering in here. You'll notice all the layers of paint. This is all hand painted. You'll see the these little uh, kind of wires that are squiggled in here to create the ribs of the pumpkin. And then up at the top, you've got the leaves that have embossing. And again, look at all the colors that are hand painted on here. And then over on this side, there's even a little that. bird. Each one of them has a bird that's come and kind of sitting so on the pumpkin. Spray. So I want to show you that they stand yeah, they with have an easel little, in the back. Little tripod. Sort of this uh, little easel right here, but also Clown Hearth included a keyhole right up on the top here. So that if you want to hang it somewhere, you certainly can do that. These are safe to use outside, so if you want to put them out in your garden, out on your front porch, out on your back deck, you can, uh, but also if you wanted to hang them inside, maybe over your fireplace okay. or somewhere else, that's why they provided the keyhole. So tall, mm -hmm. short, that's how they have them listed. Uh, I, I love them, I really do. I do too. I was These so awesome. impressed with the metal work. And Plow and Hearth is, I mean, they are a company, mm -hmm. but it really is almost like a village of artisans. And there's so few people nowadays who are doing work like this on an ongoing basis. So they're continuing to allow artists to thrive. And technique has changed. I mean, the hand hammering that we do, it's still called hand hammering, but there is an automated machine. There's a little foot pedal, and you step on the pedal and it makes the hammer drop, but they still have to guide everything by hand. So there's always a risk that you're gonna, you know, smack that thumb just like everybody did with an old mm -hmm. hammer. They're done with paint brushes. They're painted sometimes with airbrushing. But who does this stuff nowadays? I know, it's so cool. You wanna walk over to yeah, where we have yeah. some? I wanna show you some ideas of where you might wanna do them. So we have them up on our porch here. I think this is a great way. This is exactly how I would use it. I would put it up near my door. Right. I love that we have the, the taller one right here by our pillars. I just think it blends in so nicely. Look at how vibrant that is. You're going to see that from the street. And think about it, you didn't have to go out and get a pumpkin and haul it home and yep. you know worry about, you know, having to carve it or anything and then having to throw it out because it's all smushy yeah. after you're done having it out. I love that this is reusable. This is something that you're going to have year after year. Now we have another one. I'm not sure if the, ca the camera can get to it oh, over my, here on the other my side. Camera people can, can we get, to, get anything. to there? So right next to the couch over here, we have one by an arrangement, which looks so great. Look at how vibrant the color is. Yep. And they're so easy to decorate with. All you do, and this one we just have leaning up. You yeah. don't even have to use the easel. But it comes with that pop that's attached easel. You take these out of the box. You don't have to do anything. You just decide where you want them and place them out and, and enjoy. start enjoying them. Now, more and more people are starting to decorate with the concept of harvest. Mm -hmm. And part of it's longevity. Again, with Christmas decorating, Thanksgiving, New Year's, it all comes down. With harvest, you decorate for all of September, all of October, all of November. You get three months to enjoy it. And these pieces become every bit as much of family heirlooms as your favorite Christmas decorations do. Absolutely. And, and you've got an opportunity to pick them up. This one, the shorter, is the most popular at this particular point. And by the way, depending upon where you live in the country, you have different pumpkins that you usually get at the grocery store, at the local market, etc. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Yeah, beautifully hand done. I love these pieces. Oh, we've got a lot more coming up in this program. Coming up in about 15 minutes, 
Welcome back. Almost everything in this show today is new. 